All right, so rolling on the last little bit we got to do is get our <clears throat> Tuner Studio set up and get a connection back to the Pi. So, open a web browser. We're going to go to www.tunerstudio.com. And then just browse down to downloads. And get the latest one for Linux. Right here. Cool. There it goes. Alright, so you've got your Tuner Studio downloaded. <clears throat> it needs to run out of your home directory. So open the file browser, go to downloads, and right click and copy it. Copy, and then go to, uh, just back this out here. Enter, and then we'll right click here, and paste it. So now that that's in your home directory, go ahead and close this out. And we're going to open the terminal. And uh, you can do PWD and it should say home slash pi. And if you do ls, you'll see the Tuner Studio file there. I'm just going to check the file because it's got a GZ extension and I think it's just a tar file. Yeah, it's a tar file. So just do tarxf Tuner Studio ms and it will extract all of the tuner studio files here for you now that that's done you have a tuner studio and uh, you can go ahead and start it up and test it and see if it connects to your mega squirt so tuner studio has come up <coughs> And what I'm going to do is just scroll down here and uh, we'll create a new project. Okay, so we'll just do uh, my car test. That's okay, whatever. And uh, I need to cut on my mega squirt now. Let's hit the on button. The mega squirt USB cable is plugged into the Pi. So now, if I click detect, it should find it. So now it's found the device here 1.50 firmware. I'm just going to click accept and then we'll just take the defaults here. <clears throat> I'm just going to take the default gauges, we'll change all that up later. Next, we're all good. And we'll take the default there. And we're up and running. To do the next couple of steps, you'll need a paid version of Tuner Studio. So uh, I'm going to quickly just enter in my registration. Registration. And then it'll want to restart. We'll just open up our last project. And since this is going to be the dash, what we want it to do is just automatically open our last project and go straight into dash mode. That's our ultimate goal. So uh, <clears throat> we go file, actually options. Load last, go options, preferences, load last project on startup. 
Uh, we don't want to go into dash only mode just yet. Yeah, we can. Actually, let's change the gauges. I like a different uh, gauge cluster. Let's load dashboard. And the one I've been running in my car is this one. Accept, apply. Now we'll go options. Performance. Dash only mode. Yes, restart. And so when Tuner Studio comes back up, it'll be in dash only mode. And you'll see it doesn't have the menuing system at the top. See, we, we just have <clears throat> the panel here. Okay, to set up the auto start, so that the, when the Pi boots up, it goes straight into the Tuner Studio. We need to edit a file. So open up your command line. And type nano.config forward slash lx session forward slash capital LX DE dash pi forward slash auto start. And on the first line we're gonna put tuner studio capitalized just this way. Uh, capital T capital S capital MS forward slash capital tuner studio dot sh Control X, save yes, enter, and that should get us. And then just uh, restart your Pi. Reboot, and it should go right into Tuner Studio when it comes back up. Here you can see Tuner Studio starting to load. And it's back up. It should go full screen. Uh, I'm just going to double click it and put it in full screen. Once you reboot with it in full screen like this, then it'll always go back to full screen. You won't uh, you won't have to double click it once you get it set up in your car. Anyhow, uh, that's it for setting up the Tuner Studio. Uh, check back later. I'm going to have, I need to, the motor's out of the car now, but as soon as I get it back set up, um, I need to do a little more testing and changes to make this boot a little faster. But, uh, that's about it. If you come up with any uh, ideas for booting faster before I get there, let me know. Thanks.